the region's newest creative space has opened its doors and is available for hire. Located within the Mudgee Arts Precinct, the facility is fully accessible and offers a series of hireable spaces for the community, including a digital classroom and technical suite with recording and editing facilities, large and small workshops and meeting rooms, co-working spaces, internal and external breakout areas and a kitchenette. Council has secured a further $4.1 million to continue repairs to the road network. Repairs will focus on the impacts of the heavy rainfall and flooding incidents that occurred late last year. Council already has an additional three pieces of plant specifically designed for pothole repair work being used across the region. Road teams continue to work throughout the region focusing on areas of critical priority. Council thanks the community for its patience as work is completed. A strong crowd turned out for the 40th annual Charity Shield in Mudgee despite very hot conditions peaking at 37 degrees. Some 8,317 people made their way to Glen Willow to see the South Sydney Rabbitohs claim back the Charity Shield defeating the St George Illawarra Dragons 42-24. Council estimates from economic data that approximately $1.6 million was spent in the region over the weekend at restaurants and cafes, retailers and accommodation providers. A bronze statue of former local resident Louisa Lawson has been unveiled in its permanent location outside of Mudgee Library. A project of the Rotary Club of Mudgee, the sculpture was sponsored through fundraising efforts in addition to a $40,000 contribution from Council. The statue was created by local sculptor Margot Stevens and officially unveiled on International Women's Day. Louisa Lawson was an author and pioneer for women's rights, including the right to vote. Mudgee Arts Precinct's newest exhibition, Working the Waters, is now open to the public. The exhibition of immersive moving image and installation works is the first of its kind shown at the precinct. It explores humanity's engagement with water across the globe and has been curated by Anne Finnegan, arts educator, co-founder and former co-director of the Cementa Contemporary Arts Festival in Candos.